We're back on The Big Show. It's Alex talking to the big stars. And I always like to get people on from the big soaps. And let's face it, right now, there's no bigger soap than Emmerdale. James Hooten plays Sam Dingle and Eden Taylor Draper plays Belle. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Aren't you marvellous? I don't know how you do it. When I see the kids come on these shows and just give the award-winning performance, you're going to win a ton of awards, trust me. <laughs> thank you very much. You've already won a job lot of awards, haven't you? <laughs> what have you won so far? I've won quite a few. I won... When I did a big storyline and I won Best Spectacular Scene and then Best Young Performance and Best Young Actress and Best Young Actress. Yeah, whatever. Some <laughs> of us have never won anything, mate. <laughs> Does it make you a bit bitter? I mean, you've been in this business, I don't know, 50, 60 years now, James, uh, and you're still sat here awardless yeah. like myself. It's 70, 75 years, I think it is, <laughs> yeah. now that I've been in the business, uh, man and boy. Um, and no, no, it's great. I think it's great for the show if someone like Eden comes along and shows us how it's done. So, yeah, it's terrific that she she come in and out of nowhere started winning all these awards it's, it was it's good good for our cabinet because we don't win too many awards as you might well know <laughs> in comparison to the other soaps so yeah it's terrific Any, anything we'll take anything yeah. tell me about the joy when the phone rings and they go here we want you to be on a soap and it's Emmerdale and you're going to be one of the big stars and you're going to be a dingle yeah it was pretty amazing because I was only like really little I was six at the time so I just saw it as a, like I had a job so I was like oh my word so I was yeah I was very impressed how old are you now? Um, I'm 13 in three days. Ooh, well, happy that. birthday. Thank you very much. Now, when you're a big star and you're 13 and you have a birthday party, what happens? Well, the thing is, I don't like birthday parties. So I'm just off out for a meal. So I don't actually know what's going to happen. But yeah, I don't like big parties. They annoy me. Oh, really? What's annoying about them? Then? I just don't like... I just don't like them. I don't like people. You I don't d- like people? No, I do. <laughs> I love people. I love talking, but I just don't like birthday parties it's kind of a bit embarrassing isn't it when all those people are around you it's like people just give you loads of compliments you're just like oh thank you go away so yeah I like going out for meals so that's what I'm doing where do I take you Italian Chinese Indian (gasps) you would have to take me to an Italian because my favourite food is pizza so yeah you'd have to take me there (laughs) are we talking pizza hut or one of the proper pizzas no like a pizza pizza like the best pizza in the world pizza thin crust or one of those thick things thin like a proper pizza has to be thin yeah perfect girl after my own heart you thick or thin medium <laughs> no I don't know you know it's some days you want a thick crust yeah some days you want a thin crust some some days you want cheese in the in the actual yes. makeup of the dough that's around the outside no I don't get that that cheese thing around the edge because it's not actual cheese it just tastes like plastic see I don't understand that maybe it is plastic yeah. I'll ask you both the same question when your mates find out you're going to be on a soap how do they react they couldn't believe it. They were like, oh, my God, my friend's on Emmerdale. But, yeah, there was really nice about it, which is really good. Now, you're 13. Are you married yet? Yes, I am. I'm married, and I've divorced three <laughs> times, just that Italian. And how does it work? Because you must still be at school technically, but you're not because you're in a soap. Well, I go to school when I can, and when I'm not, then I tutor when I'm filming. That so. sounds like great stuff, because you can just sit in the cafeteria gossiping with people like James and yeah. just have a ball. Yeah, it's great, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> have you learned anything since you've been in Emmerdale? I have. I have improved so much, because in tutoring, it's one-to-one, so I learn a lot more than I do at school. But I still love school, so yeah. And your mates, they don't mind the fact that you get to have 50% off and, and go and do showbiz the rest of the time? Well, they're a bit like, oh my God, why do you get to miss school? But then I explain to them that it's very hard <laughs> and then they understand. Were you born a character? Because, I mean, even on the show and sat here, it's very clear you've got a huge personality and so much to say for yourself. You can't be trained that, can you? No, it's because of my mum. My mum is the most... Oh, she won't stop talking. It's ridiculous. <laughs> She'll be on the phone. Last night, she was on the phone for four hours to her mum. Four hours. <laughs> and I got a bath, I'd done my hair, everything. I was like, mum, get off the phone. So I just get it from my mum. Is she always like this? Um, yeah, she, she's an outgoing girl, you know. And her mum does like a nice chat. It has to be said, yes. Is it a bit aggravating? I mean, she finds it annoying. Four hours is a long time to talk. No guy in the world would be on the phone to their mum or anybody else for four hours. Depends who's paying the bill, doesn't it? If if they're calling in, then it's all right. Listen, I do a radio show. It's only three hours long. She did a radio show plus another bit of another (laughs) one. Exactly. It's not right. She'd be after your job tonight, yeah. So are you living in Leeds as well now? Yes, I am in... I'm in the very posh part. I'm in (laughs) Harewood. Very so nice. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do then? Where do you go to eat? Do you go into town or do you stay local to, to go out and have fun? I go to Harrogate. I love Harrogate. So, yeah, that's where I go. Oh, really? We are just talking to Emma earlier. She lives in Harrogate. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I do like Harrogate. Mm. And in terms of the camaraderie of the team, do you have to make it fun and make sure you are friends? Because it'd be pretty miserable if you hated everybody. I think it just 
just it so happens that the Dingles have come together completely organically. You know, we've just we've been cast completely separate of one another, but we've we've come together in this family and created a family family unit. Um, and I think there's there's a lot of similarities between us, generally speaking, uh, which is is great because we we all seem to get on so well. Um, and I don't think you can cast that if you were trying to cast. A, 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 a family as diverse as the Dingles are in their makeup, and you were trying to create a certain, you know, chemistry between the the, the the actors and the characters. It would be extremely hard to do that. It's just simply by chance, I think, that we've all managed to come together into this family, and we all sort of get on, have a good crack on set, and you know, try and enjoy ourselves while we do the job. So I think it's it's we're very fortunate that we've got the opportunity to have a good working um, relationship with each other. <laughs> Before we go, congratulations on being you. I mean, you're such a big star and you're going to go on to greatness. What's next? Are you in this as long as I'll have you or are you going to go on and go to Hollywood or something? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, so I'll do... I don't know. I want to try everything. Mm. So. And the family around you, the Dingles in the, in the show, are they fun to be with? Yes, they're really fun, except James. He's just an absolute spoils boy. He's <laughs> awful. Yeah. No, no, no. It's really good. Yeah, we have loads of laughs on that. We get told off because we laugh that much. Oh, you mustn't do that. You mustn't. You can't corpse because there isn't time to redo it, is there? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's the, the, the time that we have to actually make the show, you know, is, is getting less and less. It's a very busy schedule, but th there's always time for a bit of fun on set and you've got to have it because otherwise you wouldn't be human, would you? It's not like a proper job, though. You can't tell no, me. You can't, I can't tell you it's like a proper grafter's <laughs> job, you know, but um, there's pros and cons to every job, isn't there? So, you know, it's, it's not for everybody, but it's good. It's good for us. Cheers, Eden Taylor Draper. Lovely to meet you, Belle in uh, Emma Dart, and such a great star, and you're going to be uh, fabulous. Come on the show again, won't you? I will definitely. And Jameson, good to talk to you, mate. Thank you very much.